just got the new Epic 4G from Sprint and 4G Network. I'm about to open it up now. Um, ordered it from Radio Shack. It's still the Epic 4G from Sprint. Let's find out what the speed we can do. Um, right now, I'm just going to shoot an unboxing video. Um, I'm going to put a review video up soon. It looks like Radio Shack opened it for me. Isn't that a B word? Oh well. So, no they didn't. That's cute. I guess that's how the box is supposed to be. See that? That's the box. That's weird how they did that. The box is pretty heavy. The box has some weight to it, but you know, the phone is pretty sexy, right? Um, here's the battery. So, I mean, it did include battery. I hope that's a spare battery, to tell you the truth, because I would love to have a two battery. Um, I've played with Android phones before. There's just some shipping manuals, barcode for something in here, FedEx, you know, whatever. That's extra stuff. But I've played with some Android phones before. I own the um, Instinct now, and I used to own the Moment. Um, but now, it's the Epic 4G from Sprint Galaxy S phone. I think number one phone in the US. A couple other people have said that with the Super AMOLED screen, perfect for gaming and social networking. There so, you go. um, yes, yes. Well, let's find out. I'm gonna set that there. Hair looks like this is it right here. See, I guess that's how you get it out. You have the little tab. Sure. Look at that. That is. I, I can't wait. Let's find out what else is in the box, though. Um, little mini box, I guess. Um, See, it's another little box. Um, looks like some manuals in it. A whole bunch of different languages, but I only speak one language fluently, so obviously English. Um, some headphones with the replacement buds, and they look like really nice in-ear headphones. It looks like Samsung stepped up. They they wanted to conquer the world with their headphones. That was nice. That was a nice touch. Um, looks like the USB cord, micro, and the adapter to make it into a regular house wall travel charger. That's okay. I wish they had two separate cords, but that's fine. And of course, the SD card adapter. Pretty sturdy. Pretty good one. Pretty strong. I'm going to be using this one a lot. Um, and that's it. See, nice yellow box. I guess they really like yellow. That's good, though. But to the phone, opening the phone up. Slide this one out. It has some weight. It's, it's pretty big. Like that screen is pretty huge. I think I'm gonna Put set everything else over right here. Let's see if we can get this stuff. That's the headphones, the travel charger adapter, the cord. You know the batteries right here, and of course, you know other plastic items. Um. Not exactly sure what I did with the SD card adapter, but we can find that later on tomorrow. So it doesn't really matter right now. It's all about the phone. The nice little box. Put that over there too. Good. Now, I gotta put the battery in it, obviously. So, it's time to take the back off. Let's see what's under this. Okay, that, that looks like a pretty big slot for the battery. And um, again, I do like this touch though because on the moment, the SD card went under the battery, so you had to keep taking the battery out, that was a hassle. So now, it's up here, nice little lock system that has going on with the 16 gigabyte micro SD card that comes with. Um, sit this down, open this up. Now you can see that the battery is big, the battery is pretty huge, I guess it has to be, but it's light, it's like lighter than the moment's battery, but it's bigger, so that's something to look at, that's something to think about. Um, how they're making the designs lighter but still bigger. So that's that's cool to me, I guess. With the five megapixel camera and flash in the back. Let's see, make sure it's shut. Okay, let's take this. I guess it says introducing Samsung Epic 4G Galaxy S phone with a stunning super AMOLED display and instant access to your social networking all on the blazing fast network from Sprint. Let's hope it holds up to its word. Peel this off. Now look at that. That's that screen is perfect. I like it. I like it, truthfully myself. So let's turn this on. Power button. Let's not turn this on. Let's show you some of the features. Power buttons on the side, the right side. Dedicated camera key. 
Over here you have a volume rocker. At the top of the phone you have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You have the power. This is where you insert the power cable at. It slides open, which I think is pretty cool. It's not real hard to slide it open. Bottom you have obviously where the microphone jack is and how you open the phone with the little slot. The keyboard is nice big full keyboard. It has a nicer feel than the Moments keyboard and the, and the Intercepts keyboard. So I like the keyboard, truthfully. So now, oh, you can see right here, this is the front facing camera. It looks like it has some proximity sensors at the top too. So let's find out what this baby can do. Let's turn it on. Sit it on the box. You see the light, that's pretty cool. I wonder if when you get a message, it's light gonna blink for you. That was a pretty fast startup. I mean, the phones I've ever seen start up that fast was actually like a Blackberry phone, which was kind of confusing to me because I really hate Blackberries. Um, it's a nice feel in your hand. So it looks like the unlock screen is kind of like the intercept. Um, it does run TouchWiz too, so let's find out what that does. Oh, it went straight to the activation. So I want to do a review about this soon. I'm actually going to post it up later on today. Since I've played with Android phones, it shouldn't take that long. Um, so this is the unboxing of the Galaxy S, Samsung Epic. And I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you watch my review and subscribe. See you next time. Electric Ray. Bye.